Hello and a warm welcome, this is Lance and welcome to a little update on the conditions and uh, well frankly maybe some ideas on how to get the best out of your time here in Bansko. When there's no snow I'm with my son Tony, say hello Tony. Hi. <laughs> what do you want to say to everybody? Now we went out the pesh to eat and now we're coming back. We had lunch at Pestorito. Unfortunately, there's not snow. Unfortunately, yeah. Well, there's just one lift open, piece number eight, which we did day before yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. We skied that. But it was rather busy. I'm not sure whether I loved doing it, to be fair. I was quite scared. You were a little bit scared on the red run, weren't you? But I you... was very scared. <laughs> okay. You did very well, though. And we got down. So, anyhow, as Tony has been saying, a good activity is to walk up the ski road. Gentle walk will take about 40 minutes to the Pesterite. And just down here is the Calibita. That's another good option to have lunch. Yeah, not bad at all, enjoying it. You really can get the best out of uh, a ski resort when there is no snow. And to be fair, Bansko is not the only ski resort struggling at the moment. I do hear there's been rain in the Alps and it's uh, not so good in many resorts there. But right now, as you can see, it's a real struggle, isn't it, Tony? No snow. What else have we been doing? Yeah, we've been uh, enjoying. We had lunch, actually, at Casa di Papa. And downstairs, they have a family um, play area, don't they, Tony? Yeah, it's so nice. It's nice, so nice, yes. We were playing with our friend, Max. He's cold. OK. And I had new friends. Great. So... Bring a friend, find new friends uh, for your children uh, at the Casa di Papi. We had a very, very nice long time there yesterday, lunchtime. So actually, we've been very happy. I know many of you obviously want to come for a ski trip and I totally get that 100%. But, but if you do happen to be here when there is no snow, then you can have a good time. I bumped into uh, Philip. Brooks and he's doing Jeep Safari that's an open top Jeep so hopefully I'll bring you a report from a Jeep Safari very very soon uh, that looks a lot of fun uh, Bansko ATV for ATV I tours it's so fun, the Jeep Safari. yeah and actually young children Tony is six years old yes six, yeah, six. <laughs> and uh, that apparently is old enough to go on a Jeep Safari uh, if you go on an ATV tour, make sure you have gloves and warm clothes and everything. Uh, so, what else is an ice rink? You can enjoy that. Go up the mountain, obviously, in the gondola. 30 lev just to go up on the gondola and back. And it's a 60 lev. Yes, that's a good point. Thank you. Uh, absolutely. Wow. Uh, if you're under seven, it's one lev. And that's your whole gondola and ski pass. And that's all season. So, it's a yeah that's fantastic can't beat that to encourage good young skiers to learn and enjoy the mountains so yeah uh, what else is golf at the moment people are playing golf I didn't know that. yeah you didn't know that did you we'll go down to the golf course and have a look and uh, people are enjoying the old town going around that is there enough to keep you going for a whole week mm. Maybe, maybe not, depends, because of course you may want to have a few nice meals. So going up the mountain, of course, you've got a restaurant there, but you've also got a fine dining restaurant called the VIP room, the VIP room. And of course, there's a nightlife. And one thing I love about No Snow is you can go out late. Now when we go <laughs> yeah. somewhere down, yeah. when we're not somewhere close yeah. to them, um, it's going to be so nice and quiet and... You can see, you can hear the river and the birds singing and fresh air. It's so nice. It is. See, there you go. He's enjoying. So nice, enjoying the birds singing. I'm enjoying the, the fresh air. Oh, good. Yes. And that's right because getting above the valley means you get out of. There's a bit of. Um, there can be some trapped air from all the fires. So being up the mountain means wonderful fresh air. Yeah. And you found a little been playing on these mounds of snow. Uh, that's been good. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so we're talking about fine dining. Then, of course, you've got the Kempinski, Sushi Teppanyaki. Next door is to that is the... Now here's the piano. Kalibata. Yeah, Kalibata. Very nice. Lots, very popular. Lots of people it, here. It's packed with people. It is packed, yeah. And in the fish to eat, there was quite a good there was people. Enough, yes. And you can be in or outside. They've got a nice fire inside if you're finding it a little cold. But today... And there's a nice toilet. <laughs> there is a good toilet too. <laughs> Thanks for that, Tony. Really useful information. You know what? A good place starts with a good toilet. Okay. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yes, eating out, we were talking, talking about a nightlife. So nightlife, of course. <laughs> hey! See, we meet all sorts of people here. Some uh, Russian friends, can you believe? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, mountain biking is still happening. Some people are coming up on their mountain bikes, as you can see there. Uh, we'll maybe go electric mine, e-biking soon. You can hire e-bikes. And uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So, snow. Are we going to get any snow? Mm. <laughs> uh, it's going to get a bit warm. Yes, rather warm. Uh, probably up to 13 degrees in town. What, what nice piece of ice I found. Oh yeah, that's rather good, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing shape. Uh, so, uh, I've lost my thread on this one. Um, <laughs> uh, I was talking about the yeah, nightlife. Yeah, you can enjoy the nightlife without the stress of having to get up and ski I in the morning. I a piece of ice. Okay. Uh, yeah, so we go e-biking, you can rent e-bikes and normal mountain bikes, so that's another excellent it's activity. Biking. And yeah. we go to a hot baths at Banya. There's several to choose from, and indeed at Dubrinishtay. Not far away. They, I'm so excited for this. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm very uh, hot baths maybe tomorrow. So I reckon you can flesh out a week uh, between going up the mountain, enjoying maybe a bit of sledging. If you want to be early, I think a little bit of skiing. Uh, but as I say, there's only that one red run there. What's this, Danny? What do you want to say? I think a, a little junior blogger here. He's be take, taking over very soon. Ah, uh, so that's all from me. Uh, oh, snow. Sorry. Yes, yeah, snow. Mm. Maybe. I mean, this is very honestly. Anything can happen in the mountains, and things do change very quickly in the mountains. So uh, I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait a bit longer. Looking like, and this is a wild, wild guess, uh, 14th of These January, we'll have some snow. Some snow are made from the snow cannons. That's absolutely right. You can see them. Snow cannon snow. Here it is, I got two piles. Yeah. And here on the there is, I got two piles. A lot of piles of snow. Yeah. There's to the um, whole. How do you call it? The whole way there's some hills of snow. Yes, piles, the yeah, little hills. Yes, for the machines. That's absolutely right. Yeah, there you go. You can find entertainment and lots of small things. Uh, so the snow situation is really, really desperate. And uh, hopefully before too long, temperatures will drop. They'll continue to make more snow higher up. Uh, but you know, I'm really looking for temperatures to drop properly and to get some fresh, real snow. And at the moment, I can't really see anything. Um, certainly not until 3rd, 4th of uh, January, but I think maybe quite some time after that. Not the news that I want to give, but we're independent. We tell you, and I try and tell you exactly how I see it. But what do you think? What do you think? Have you been over here? Have you made the best of it? Uh, as I say, genuinely, I think you can have a good time with the family here, if Should you can't. I told you, you can hear the river. You're absolutely right, we can hear the river. You don't hear music and it's nice <laughs> to hear the river. That's right, I don't like hearing all that loud music. I prefer the sound of this river here. There we go. All very good. So that's all from me. And uh, that's all from Tony. So Tony, it just leaves you to say goodbye to the Bansko people. So. Bye-bye. And goodbye to you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.